Hi there, my name is Kate Tonietti and I was 18 years old when I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 1994. It was my first semester of college and I had suffered from some migraines for the first time in my life. Uh, eventually my eyelids started to droop and I began to have double vision. I was right in the throes of studying for finals and writing papers and when I walked out the door one morning to turn in a paper, uh, the sunlight was so bright, it made my eyes shut. I couldn't even cross the street without watching some other person's feet go across in front of me. And when I went to turn my paper in, my teacher immediately suggested that I go to the health center. At the health center, the doctor thought I might have a brain tumor, and he sent me to the emergency room. When I arrived at the emergency room, they had been waiting for me and I immediately went in for several rounds of testing and MRIs. The next morning, the neurologist suggested that he thought I might have multiple sclerosis. At the time, I had no idea what that meant and I was very scared. When I was first diagnosed, I was scared. I didn't know what the future looked like. If somebody could have told me anything, it's that so much of this is more in your control than you realize. In hindsight, I feel very lucky to have been diagnosed so young because I was invincible and I decided that this was not going to stop me in anything that I wanted to do in my life. And ultimately, I worked in Antarctica and I built underwater robots for a decade. And now I am a health coach who helps other people with autoimmune disorders to find their personal wellness programs.